In this video, I'm going to show you how I create complete high quality UI design for mobile apps in less than five minutes. So I wanted to create this budget management app for Android and iOS. What I did, first of all, I created a requirements document using Gemini. You can use ChatGPT or something else. But the next step is then I used Google Stitch to create this UI design. So now these are all of the screens that my app will have. So this tool literally just created all of the screens for my app in literally less than a couple of minutes. But that's not the main point. Designing a user interface using AI is easier. There are a lot of tools out there that you can actually use to create front end design of your app. But now to implement that design, let's suppose if you're creating your app in Flutter or in React Native. So now implementing that design exactly precisely as it is, is a challenging task definitely because if you just provide the screenshot of now your AI code editor will try to replicate it and try to like recreate it and then that's where your AI code editor is going to completely hallucinate. So in this video I'm going to show you first of all how to create all of these screens using Google Stitch that is comparatively easier task but next step is how to now implement this design inside your project so this is my project inside my vs code but i'm using augment code as my ai code editor you can use something like cursor or windsurf but i personally love augment code i have been using augment code for almost all of my projects so i'm going to guide you that how you can implement that design from google stitch inside your project using augment code by simply just giving it your prompt and now if i run this project you can see this is the exact same login screen and it just replicated each and every single component from Stitch and then implemented it inside our project. And in fact, we can see the next screen, which is this particular screen. And on this screen, you can see it has replicated each and every single component in here. All of these different components, even the text exactly as it is, has been replicated in here. So there is a new term out there, which is called wipe design. So after wipe coding, now we got wipe design. That means we can create the complete front end designs for our web applications and our mobile applications by simply just prompting. So gone are the days when we used to create UI designs manually in Figma and we used to like spend literally weeks and sometimes like months in just designing few screens for our applications. And even in this video, I'm going to show you that how you can take this design now to Figma and then you can just further customize this design inside Figma. If you are a Figma designer already or if you just like really like the Figma tools or if you just want like more freedom to customize your design so you can totally do that inside figma so before we dive deep into this tutorial please subscribe to this youtube channel and click on that like button as well and if you have not followed me on x please just go ahead and follow me on x these days i'm actually too much focused on x platform i was on a digital detox for a while so this is kind of first time in my life that i'm just like started posting on x so please just go ahead and follow me on x all right so first thing first if you are in your planning phase and you have just a certain kind of app and now you just found a reference as well on google play store or on apple app store so just go ahead and just like try to download this particular app or any app that you have as a reference and after that just like take screen screenshot of all of its screens after that just go to chat gpt or go to gemini and then provide all of those screenshots and then ask gemini or chat gpt to now like observe all of these screenshots and ask it that i'm going to create this kind of app here are the screenshots of the existing app and now ask it to analyze all of those screenshots one by one and then create a detailed prompt for you or you can say a detailed document for you where it can actually explain everything about the screens that you are going to use inside your app so let's suppose in our case we have authentication screens that include login screen sign up screen forget password screen and then the password reset screen then there is the dashboard screen there is the transaction screen then there is account screen and then there is the budget screen and also there are these other screens as well so you just need to make sure that you got details of all of these different screens after that what you can do you can simply just like copy this prompt as it is and after that you can just go to google stitch so this is google stitch which is a ui designing platform and honestly for mobile app design this is probably one of the best platform out there and this is absolutely free to use after that you can just like provide your prompt in here and your prompt actually contains details about all of the screens that you're going to design and from here you can actually choose this either standard mode or this experimental mode 
I used experimental mode to design these screens, but now let me just show you that you can use standard mode as well. So standard mode actually designed faster with Gemini 2.5 flash and the experimental mode actually uses Gemini 2.5 pro and uses an image for inspiration. So it can actually get an image as an input, but the only problem with experimental mode is you cannot actually export that design into Figma. So if you're looking to export your design inside Figma, so then just use standard mode but if you just want to like create everything inside stitch so you can then just use experimental mode after that you can just like provide any reference images all of the 10 screenshots that you actually provided inside chat gpt or gemini you can provide those 10 screenshots in here another approach actually can be that you design all of these screens one by one so you ask it to like create the first screen then the like all of the authentication screens after that you ask it to like create the second set of screens which will be maybe like the dashboard screens or maybe like the onboarding screens or any of those relevant screens so you can just like do that one by one step by step rather than asking you to generate all of these screens all together but just for the sake of this tutorial i'm just like going to provide all of this entire prompt and then ask you to generate all of those screens all together once everything is done simply just click on this generate designs and now it will start generating this design so stitch just analyzed our prompt after that it is asking us to proceed with designing these screens i'll prompt you to please proceed press enter and now it will proceed to create these screens right now you can see stitch has already started working on all of these screens it is now generating code for these screens and you can see these screens look really amazing let's just compare between both of these designs so this was the first design that it created now this is the second design that it has created almost it looks very similar but overall you can see this navigation menu has like a kind of very different kind of logo in here in here the navigation menu is very simple and basic so both of these designs are created inside this experimental mode now what you can do if you want to like edit any of these particular screens so let's suppose if i want to like change anything in this particular screen so i can simply just click on this edit and then give it a prompt to like change anything in this particular screen you can see it has already attached this image in here and then we can just like give it a prompt and then you can change anything in this particular screen we can also change the overall theme of it but again this option is not available in this experimental mode this option is only available in the standard mode just to give you a demo this is the design that i created previously using the standard mode which is kind of okay not really modern not really like you can say the impressive design so experimental mode actually created the impressive design you can say at least modern banking it is actually giving me a very much feeling of revolut so i'm actually a regular user of revolut app so it is actually giving me that revolut kind of feeling but this design which was actually created using this standard mode you can see it is comparatively not that much better so now if you have created something using your standard mode you can totally change the theme for your app so maybe you can create a new dark mode or maybe you can just like change the color of this overall theme but the most interesting part in this standard mode is this figma so you can simply just like copy it from here and then now you can just like go to figma and paste this design inside figma and then after that you can just like edit and customize this design further inside figma so right now you can see i am inside figma i have already opened a figma design after that what i can do i can simply just click on this control v and you can see our design is here this particular design is pasted in here with all of its like images all of the fonts everything is just pasted as it is so now you can just like go ahead and like customize any of the layers in here so that's how easy and simple it is to create front end design the complete ui design using this particular tool so far we have just created the ui design we have not implemented this design inside our project so that is the main step now and i'm going to show you that how you can actually easily just now take this design from here and then implement it inside your code so let's suppose if you like start with any of these screens and you want to like implement that screen inside our project first after that then we'll come back and then copy another screen and then implement that inside our design so to do that what you can do you can simply just like click on any of these screens so let's suppose this particular this first one screen so once so once you will click on this screen you can see there are two options one is figma which is disabled because we just created this design inside the experimental mode the other one is actually the code itself so you can simply just click on this code and now you can see this is the html css code that it has just created so it just like used html to create all of these designs for us but what the problem is 
in either in react native and even inside your flutter project we cannot use html css so flutter actually uses a programming language which is called dart so that dart programming language is very different than html css but because you are like doing wipe coding so you don't need to care this is the 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 amazing times of ai so what you need to do you need to simply just copy that code from here and then after that you just need to come back to your project so let's suppose if you're developing your app in expo in react native or maybe in our case we are using flutter to develop this app so you need to just like come back to your ai code editor make sure that you are using something like cursor or windsor for something like augment code or maybe Klein or Roo code because these are your native AI code editors that you can actually use on your desktop or on your Mac. Please just don't use anything like bold.new or lovable.dev because those are web-based AI code editors and they will not give you that much freedom. So what you can do, you can simply just like, like create an empty project inside Flutter and after that what you can do, you can just like now copy that code from here and once you copy it from here, just go back to your AI code editor. After that, just paste that code in here and just give it this prompt. So something like, I just like created a very basic prompt, which was like, I created the UI screen design using this tool. So then I gave the link of Google Stitch. After that, I mentioned that I'm going to share the screenshot of the design that it, that it created and the code that it has created. And you can just like implement the design inside my project. And I just mentioned that all of these codes and all of these screenshots, I'll just like share with you one by one. So just like implement these one by one. So just like provide that and just like add the screenshot. So I believe all of the AI code editors actually allow you to attach screenshot. So if you are, so if you are using cursor or windsor for something like line or rule code, all of these AI code editors actually allows you to uh, like attach screenshot in your prompt if you are using an LLM which is actually a multi-model LLM that actually allows you to like input an image and a text. So just make sure that you're using something like Cloud Code or something like O3 Mini or something like maybe Gemini 2.5 Pro. So once you provided screenshot, just press enter and now AI code editor will actually convert that HTML code inside that dart file and now you can see inside this flutter project it has created this screens folder and inside this screens folder you can see it has now created this budget screen goal screen login screen main navigation menu over overview screen and then transaction screen what it did it just like converted the code for all of these screens into the dart code which was compatible with flutter if you are using react native the process is same but it might be using something like typescript or if you are using like swift so it will just convert that html css code into swift as well but if you just want to like compare the results so you can see this is the particular screen that it just like created and you can see it has like copied each and every single component as it is even it copied the text as well as it is and in here you can see these are the graphs so because there were no graphs inside design so it just like added a graph component so that's why it is just like showing this graph and this error that is it is showing this is actually the screen space error when you create a build hopefully that error will be gone and other than that you can see it created like all of those components as it is and it even like created this navigation menu as well so now just repeat this process for all of these screens and literally within just like few minutes from ideation to like then front end design creation and then the implementation of that design inside your project all of that you can do in literally few minutes so i hope you really like this video if you have any further questions just leave your comments in the comment section i'll see you next video